Good evening and welcome back to Beeridge. The whole world is talking about EVs. And so what is the state of the EV market in Asia? Because we live in Asia and most of the EV sales is happening in Europe and in places in America where people are conscious of using carbon. But even in Asia, in especially in China and Japan, uh, China, Japan and South Korea, EV person, EV penetration is pretty high. In China, it is 27% of all vehicles sold are already electric vehicles. It is BYD which is dominating the game there. And so electric vehicle penetration is increasing day by day. Sooner or later, a major portion of even public transport in China is going to go to EV way. Surprisingly, South Korea is next on the block. South Korea has nearly 11% of EV vehicles. And so South Korea is also moving towards rapidly becoming an electric state. Japan on purely electric vehicles has only 2.2 percentage. But this is because the Japanese government encourages a wide range of technology. Toyota adopted the hybrid technology a long time back until recently believed hybrid was the way to go before they switched. Hybrid is cars which run initially on petrol or any diesel or any petroleum product and then switch to electric on battery power. They believed that this was the way to go till the electric vehicles of BYD and Tesla took the world by storm. So Japan is way behind only because of this reason. The Japanese government has invested in other technologies such as hydrogen, green hydrogen and fuel. And that is why it looks that is this 2.1 share does not include hybrid and fuel cell cars. If you add those two, even Japan will come to 10%. The rest of Asia is between 2.5 to 3. We are talking about Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, Vietnam and other countries and Philippines. And what is happening is the rate at which electric vehicle cars or vehicles are being adopted is rapidly increasing. Now let's come back to India, which is the big dinosaur in the room and my home market. Only 1.1% of all vehicles has now become electric. This is an absolutely poor number. And what is happening in India is the two-wheeler and three-wheeler space is where the electric vehicles are dominating. Especially in both passenger and in commercial vehicle, nearly 40% of all vehicles freshly being sold is EV in the three-wheeler space. India, a lot of three-wheelers are used to transport material and is also used as auto rickshaws to transport people. In Chennai where I live, at least now the garbage clearance is fully drawn on EV vehicles. So the three-wheeler space is where the EV sales has really taken off. In two wheelers, a bunch of disruptors started manufacturing EV vehicles. Ola, Aether, Ampere were the first of the block. Ola, depending on venture capital funds, has built a huge plant but has not been able to have a good design and it had too many problems and is only ramping up. But for really EV numbers to go up, the big giants have to step up to it. So right now, TVS, Bajaj have started to manufacture electric scooters. Bajaj has only one model and TVS has already reached the top five. Sooner or later, Bajaj will also catch up and you will have Aether, Bajaj and TVS doing very well. The hero case, the family split meant that the hero name went to, name went to the another branch of the family, which is now rapidly selling hero electric vehicles and they promise to sell quite a number by the next three years and there is also a talk of that company going public they have the first mover advantage the hero motor corp which dominates the motorcycle space has now decided to launch its own electric vehicle scooters with a research facility in europe and they will launch their own scooters and only when the big daddies join this race will you have the scooters become electric first. Once the electrification of scooters is successful, you will see that more and more motorcycles will also become electric. As far as cars is concerned, India is a very cost conscious market. All the electric vehicles now being offered are at 25 lakh plus. It is only the House of Tatas which have decided to 
take their electric vehicle market in India by storm by launching the cheapest car at 15 lakhs. They had a electric version of their mini SUV. Then they launched a sedan Tigor on the in an SUV. And Tata's have promised to launch a host of electric vehicle cars. Last year alone, they sold 50,000 cars on EV passenger cars. And this year, the target is to sell 10,000 cars a month and an average more than a lakh of cars. So the Tata's have a domination of 80 to 85 percent of the EV market. The two main battery manufacturers in India are Excite and Amal Raja. Excite and Amal Raja both have had bought foreign technology from abroad, Excite from a Chinese company, and Amal Raja breaking ground in Telangana for a new battery plant are both going to make batteries for EV vehicles. But today, whatever we may say, more than 100% of 100% of all products are being imported. And that is the only problem. Hopefully, the production-linked incentive scheme may change it. But the 98% supply chain for the entire world for EV vehicles comes from Asia. Indonesia has the largest source of nickel, which is required to manufacture EV. And the, the you need, they have already invested $30 billion for mining in Indonesia. As far as battery production goes, there are three major battery production companies in the world and all of them are in Asia. China CATL controls nearly 30% of the market. LG's Frisol is also a major player from South Korea. Panasonic is one of the largest battery manufacturers in the world and has an exclusive tie-up with Tesla and all Tesla cars run on Panasonic batteries. So. It is the entire supply chain that is coming from Asia. And high cost of crude oil means that in India, two-wheelers and three-wheelers will move to electric soon. The government of India has set a target that 30% of all vehicles by 2030 must be electric. This could be achieved earlier. But one thing is certain, by 2030, most Indians will be driving electric cars if the price per car comes down. The use of electric cars is good for the environment because it will mean putting less carbon into the atmosphere. And also, for a country like India or most of Asia, which imports crude as fuel, except Malaysia and some Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, you are going to have a, basically a need for crude to drop. And for India especially, Crude is the major import item along with gold, which affects our current account. The more we go into electric, the lesser we will have to import crude and India can run a current account surplus. The rise of electric vehicle has long-term consequences on fortunes of nations. The, it may be, end, be, be the end of dominance of South uh, Middle East as a commodity exporting bloc and the rise of East and Central Asia, including India, as economic powers, as more capital will be conserved because you don't need to import energy. Thank you for watching Be Rich. I hope you like this insight. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you have done all the above, you could send this video to your friends and relatives and ask them to take a look. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. We had a meeting in Singapore. I was very pleased with the results. Indians received me with great love and affection and I enjoyed my time in Singapore. The meeting was a big success and I could meet a people from various walks of life. I miss going to Kuala Lumpur which is very close to Singapore, just four hours drive and I have been asked to come there. So it is my team decided on the 11th of June, Sunday, it will, we would do an event in Kuala Lumpur. If you would like to meet me in Kuala Lumpur, kindly send a message at the WhatsApp number given below and or drop a mail to the mail ID given below. My team would contact you at well, yes. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy 
you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish at gmail.com once again i thank you for your support if you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification